Hey YouTube, hopefully got a quick video for you today. I recently put out a Q&A request, um, and I saw this question come up a lot, which is basically how do you build a good reading list? So I thought I'd take some time and do a little bit of research, put together my tips and tricks, and make this a standalone video, since I do get this asked fairly often. And in my opinion, it's a very important question. So myself, I read 52 books a year, which to a lot of people is a lot, but a lot of YouTubers will read hundreds more than that. But it's even more important if you don't read that much. So if you only read a book a month or four books a year, and there's two, pl two million plus books published every single year, how do you separate the wheat from the chaff? How do you figure out what is the needle in the haystack? What is the best way to maximize either your enjoyment or the quality of the information that you're, you know, taking in? Um, so I figured I'd put this together, give you a list of my resources, and hopefully, you know, it's a quick, concise format for you. But uh, let me know your thoughts on this down below. Uh, without further ado, let's jump in. In my opinion, there's about three different areas that you can recommend books by. So your general recommendations are going to be like listicles and just best of. Um, so you obviously have YouTube's, uh, YouTube videos, like I put out my best of video, top five nonfiction, what have you, uh, starter packs and whatnot, which is a good resource. Um, but what I like to do a lot of times is consult, you know, experts, you know, a fantasy writer, for example, is going to know what some of the best fantasy books are. Somebody that does anti-aging research, uh, research is probably going to know what the best anti-aging books are, for example. So because of that, my first recommendation is actually going to be fivebooks.com. And this is a super cool website. Basically, playing off their name, they assemble a list of five books, but they do it in a really thorough way. Um, basically, they hire these different authors or different experts, researchers, professors, uh, what have you, to come in and give their best recommendations on their favorite books or pet categories, pet subject matter. And what I really like about this is they kind of separate everything into these larger hitter categories and then drill down into that. So for example, if you have even made the first jump to say, I want to read fiction or I want to read nonfiction. You separate out those two major categories and then you can drill down. You know, if you want to read fiction, do you want to read fantasy, memoir, humor, horror, you know, what have you. And then you can drill down to that. Or if you're more like me, you can go down into the nonfiction category, which they actually have a ton of. And nonfiction is usually something that's neglected on the internet, at least in my opinion. You see a lot of young adult, you see a lot of fantasy, horror, Stephen King, but, um, it's harder to find nonfiction resources, which is ex why I especially love this website. So as you can see here, they will dive down into a lot of different topics, environment, psychology, technology, science, and then you can click into individual categories. So to pick out an example here, let's jump into biology. And so you can see there's a number of different lists and they further subdivide everything. So if you want to read about evolution, you have that, ocean life, life below the surface, which I guess is just a SEO way of saying ocean life again. But like, let's say we wanted to read about viruses. Very topical for 2020. Hopefully we don't have as many of them in 2021. But so for example, you can click on the name here, go to Dorothy Crawford, see who she is, which in this case, she has a PhD from Bristol. She's an emeritus medical professional, or sorry, professor of micro, medical microbiology, if I can say that. But basically you can see why they're qualified to recommend these lists. They kind of give you the reason they recommend each book, and then of course their list of five. So this is a great way to drill down into individual subjects. My second favorite way to find books is once you've already kind of figured out which authors or topics you want to read about, check the back of the books you have. A lot of the times you'll find bibliographies. So in this book by Jim Mellon, Juvenescence, they do a dive into all the anti-aging and um, regeneration technologies. And in the back of this book, they have about, I would say, 25 to 40-ish additional books that they either referenced or they recommend reading. So this can be a great way to really just blow out an entire year of reading. I could, you know, literally read at a book a week for 40 weeks based off the recommendations in this one book alone. And then of course, if even half of those books have additional reading, you know, it just goes exponential from there. Similarly, you can check out the um, author's website as well. This is a little bit more hit and miss, but sometimes it can be a huge resource. 
For example, here is Ray uh, Kurzweil, and his website has a bookshelf category where he literally has 10 pages, probably 10 books per page, so figure it 100 recommendations on books he's read and would recommend to you. So if you know your author reads about a certain topic or explores a certain range, maybe it's anthropology or biology or maybe it's astrophysics or what have you, check their blogs out. And then we kind of get to, in my opinion, what's a secret weapon. I have never seen this recommended before, but personally this is where I get the vast majority of all my recommendations. And that's actually going to be Reddit. So there's kind of two main categories. You have your general book clubs and then you have your you know, individual topics. So for general book clubs, look around for what you're trying to read about, whether that's your general nonfiction or self-help or horror. Most of the time, there's going to be a subreddit for that, and people can schedule book clubs. You can talk about uh, books you've read, get thoughts, ask questions. Sometimes there's either, even an um, author ask me anything. So it's a great way to not only find new reads, but engage with communities that read similar to yourself. So just as a quick example, this is Betterment Book Club, which is all about kind of self-help. And they do group reads, buddy reads. They also do book summaries. But all in all, it's a really good system. And what I really love about Reddit is they use kind of a rapid fire democracy system. So if a lot of people like the recommendation or like the contents, they'll upvote it. And, you know, vice versa, if they don't like it, they'll uh, downvote that off your page. The other cool thing is to check the sidebar about specific interest. So here is the Futurology subreddit. So this is all related to future technologies, future politics, and basically advancements in any type of tech. And so for example, on the old version of the website, so old.reddit you know, slash Futurology, if you go down on the sidebar here, you'll see some rules and basically how to engage with the community. But if you keep scrolling down, you'll actually get to their, uh, their reading list. And their reading list on this specific subreddit is absolutely massive. So you have fiction, nonfiction, as well as research journals all related to this topic. And you can drill down a lot of different categories. So I know there's ones on longevity, there's ones on politics, there's ones on history. And then within those subreddits, they'll also recommend other subreddits that are related to themselves. So like within, you know, Futurology, you might get linked over to like the microdosing subreddit and they'll have a link to drug nerds and you can just go on this rabbit trail of building a massive book list for what these individual communities think is their best books for in uh, introduction to the subject. And yeah, so with just these few resources, my TBR in the two years I've been reading is like well over 500, and I actually have trouble figuring out what to read next because I have so many quality options. But yeah, that's all I got for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed this, quick and concise. Um, if you did, let me know in the comments below. If you have any other suggestions or resources for other people to use as well, drop that below as well. I'm sure there's a whole lot I left out um, and as always, if you want to support the channel, you can subscribe or even just drop a like and it'll help me along the algorithm. Anyways, until next time, peace.